What's up guys, so we just arrived in Monaco, me and my friend, we're gonna check out what the cars are all about and uh, we actually just saw an orange Lamborghini Aventador, um, but we're just gonna see what's out there and uh, hopefully we'll catch some cool stuff on the way. So I'll uh, update you guys in a bit. Ciao. First thing we come across, this motorcycle, looks pretty cool. It's not a car, but still, nonetheless, looks awesome. We just arrived at the famous F1 tunnel, the start of it, and I don't know if you can see him, but there is a cop standing right there, and it already looks like they're uh, trying to really control the situation here with the cars. We'll see how it all goes uh, this year. Second proper car of our trip. Looks like a, a SV Roadster, a Ventador. From Luxembourg. Some Vorsteiner kid. Or... Well, that's starting off pretty well, I would say. Let's check if there is some more out. PP Performance is back in town. Last year too. Back with the RX6. Four five eight by prior design. Five forty C and Leon Largo. I'm pretty sure this car was here last year too, but then it was matte red and now it's gloss. Looking pretty cool. Could be another one though. For those of you who like the older BMW generations, this might be pretty cool. Tell me which one is your favorite? <laughs> Just found this rather dusty Sin R1 GT4 and I don't really know what this is. My friend said it may, might be Spanish, but I'm not sure. Here we have a Rebellion and uh, MC Stradali Gran Cabrio. But this is a rather interesting looking thing. Obviously a race car, lots of carbon. I don't know which one looks cooler. Maybe the Rebellion, but I'll let that up to you to decide. SV Roadster number two. Another car which we saw uh, last trip as well, last year. Looking pretty menacing. Definitely prefer this one over the white one with some weird stickers on the side and on the hood. This looks cool. This thing still looks in impeccable condition. The interior even, it looks like the car is brand new. I mean, it kind of is. It's the, I think the car got picked up one year ago, but it's been used quite uh, a lot. So 
Yeah, it's in very good condition. It's good to see. And it's good that it's being used a lot. Police are watching everybody carefully. Classic Monaco. I think I see some Ferrari coming in. Looked like a Camo 458. But I don't know, maybe it's just parking up there. Well, we've got the SV Roadster tucked in over there. And the Rebellion and the uh, other race car, which I forgot the name of already, is sitting somewhere over there. Oh, there it is. Very cool wing attached to the rear. I think it suits it so well. design cars are in town. It was kind of boring out on the street, so we figured we'd just go into the show itself and we find ourselves amongst some interesting furniture. Lovely. Top Marks always has some surprises every year. This chest thing, Wait, let me show you guys. Look at that. It's so kitsch, this stuff. So kitsch. Well, it's so cool. Do uh -huh. you see the lime gold here? Mm -hmm. This is the meridian of Paris. The first uh, the meridian in the world. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we, we put here the 24 time zone, if you want to see. Ah. And inside the scene, it's milling machining also uh, with um, 0 0.5 millimeters tools, mm -hmm. and we make small pyramid inside. Ah. And when you when you change when you move, are changing colors. They are changing colors. Yeah. Oh, it's a bigger, yeah. So what this basically is is part of uh, Paris, but then displayed as a table. It's made out of forged titanium, and in the center you have a diamond sitting right there. You can see there are like color patterns on it, and it has a lot of details in it. <laughs> Looks so cool. On to the car section. Win the vlog, eh?
is a very peculiar steering wheel. It's cool that's a manual though. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this car. Here you can see the engine bay. Just an overload of carbon as you can see here with the rear lights. Diffuser and this massive wing on the back, and obviously in the interior, the doors, side skirts, these vents lots of carbon in here. Lots of carbon. The thing with these headlights is that it kind of reminds me of the Gembala Mirage GT, these two yellow accents here in the headlights. That looks pretty cool. definitely like the front more than the back. I'm pretty sure Ken Block would know how to handle this baby. Look at this thing. That is insane. This is by far the best looking car of the whole show. It's actually not even a car. Look at that. See the wood in there? Interesting design, so to say. Three exhausts on both sides. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. From California. Yeah. 